Tesla is said to have entered into a new agreement to buy BYD's new Blade batteries in a partnership that not many people would have predicted. Stay tuned and let's find out more. The new Blade battery was developed by Fin Dreams Battery, an independent subsidiary of Chinese automaker BYD, which is also a major supplier of EV batteries to other automakers. In April, BYD announced that all of its future fully electric vehicles will use the new Blade battery. The new cells use LFP chemistry, but the new form factor, which looks like a blade, is the real innovation enabling a safer cell and higher energy density at the pack level, according to the company. While this feature obviously offers great safety advantages, it also delivers thermal management improvements, and BYD claims the form factor enables its energy density improvements by eliminating the need for modules. It goes directly from cell to pack, not unlike Tesla's structural battery pack technology. BYD is using the new cells in its upcoming electric vehicles, but it also said that it was working with other automakers to introduce the cells in new vehicles. He Long, vice president of BYD and chairman of Fin Dreams Battery Company, commented at the launch of the new Blade Cell last year that many vehicle brands are in discussion with the team about partnerships based on the technology of the Blade battery. They didn't disclose which brands, but recently a new report came out claiming that Tesla is one of them. Chinese media CLS reported that Tesla will be buying BYD's Blade batteries for deliveries in Q2 2022. Tesla could use Chinese automotive company BYD's new ultra-safe Blade battery design in some of its vehicles this year. The rumors that associate the Blade battery from BYD being paired with Tesla's successful electric models in China follow a report from just a few days ago when Tesla was rumored to have already completed a prototype for its $25,000 EV. Multiple Chinese media sources, including the Associated Press, have reported that people familiar with BYD's supply chain and plans for the Blade battery have indicated that the company will supply Tesla with the battery pack as soon as Q2 2022. According to the initial reports, Tesla is already testing its vehicles with the Blade batteries, which could have fueled the speculation from several days ago that an affordable $25,000 car prototype is in the works at Giga Shanghai, Tesla's Chinese production facility. The reports stated that Tesla has already entered the C-sample test phase with vehicles with the Blade battery installed. BYD's Blade battery has been developed for several years, but the automotive entity unveiled the design in March of 2020. The company began development to mitigate concerns about battery safety in EVs, a growing concern as the industry began to take off a few years ago. The design is different from current battery pack designs. In the Blade battery, singular cells are arranged together in an array, then inserted into the battery pack. It eliminates unnecessary space due to arrangement optimization, and the space within the pack is increased by over 50% compared to block batteries, BYD said. The battery pack underwent extensive testing to ensure safety and efficiency with its design. The blade pack passed nail penetration tests not emitting smoke or fire after the pack's main housing was punctured. Additionally, surface temperatures only reached between 30 and 60 degrees Celsius, or 86 to 140 degrees Fahrenheit. Traditional packs for LFP block batteries did not catch fire, but temperatures reached 200 to 400 degrees Celsius. Additionally, Ternary lithium batteries exceeded 500 degrees Celsius and violently burned. The proprietary blade design resembles a sword or saw blade with positive and negative terminals at each end. Although a saw blade can be easily flexed from side to side, it's rigid when trying to bend up and down. It's the same concept that makes the individual blade battery cells act as structural supports inside of the battery pack. Once installed in a battery pack, Honeycomb structural panels provide sufficient support to the battery pack. Each long blade battery acts as a support beam, adding strength to the entire pack. The blade battery was also designed to maximize the use of available space within the battery pack. BYD says the blade battery offers higher space utilization than a conventional EV battery. Each blade is 96 centimeters long, 9 centimeters tall, and 1.3 centimeters wide. The single cells are arranged together in an array and then inserted into a battery pack. The design is known as cell-to-pack technology and eliminates having to use individual battery modules inside the pack that each require separate thermal management systems and electronics. With this configuration, use of available space is increased by over 50% compared to conventional cylindrical lithium-ion phosphate batteries, which give the battery a higher energy density as more cells can fit. Interestingly, it was rumored that Tesla might have already completed some prototypes of its $25,000 sedan 
that it targets for the Chinese market. The report revealed that Tesla might have already lined up the suppliers for this vehicle. Now that rumors of BYD's Blade battery could be installed in the car to help reach the affordable price point, there's currently some momentum behind the speculation. Tesla has attempted to develop the $25,000 car in China for some time, and it will eventually be a global offering from Tesla. However, the company has been ramping the production of the Model 3 and Model Y and attempting to keep up with demand in China with these two vehicles. The $25,000 Tesla could launch as early as next year, with suppliers beginning to reveal themselves. It's not a long shot to think that Tesla could capture some more of China's EV market share with a sub $30,000 vehicle. Panasonic unveils its 4680 battery cell, production to start next year. Electronics giant Panasonic has provided an update on the new 4680 battery cell it's developing for Tesla via an interview with Nikkei Asia. The form factor for the 4680 type battery cell was first revealed at Tesla's Battery Day event in September of last year. During that event, Tesla claimed the 4680 battery will provide five times more energy and six times more power capacity. The battery cell is powered by a new anode that uses a new silicon. Panasonic has today unveiled its new 4680 battery cell for Tesla, and it plans to start test production early next year. Last year, Tesla unveiled its plans to produce its own new tabless battery cell in a bigger format with a new chemistry. The automaker claims to have solved some major issues that were preventing the industry from producing bigger cylindrical lithium-ion cells in a new format called 4680. Tesla's new 4680 battery cells have the potential to be cheaper, more efficient, and therefore enable longer range or smaller battery packs. The automaker had developed new manufacturing processes in order to make the new battery cell, and it plans to deploy those at scale in its own new battery factories being built near Berlin, Shanghai, and Austin. On top of that, Tesla is also partnering with current battery suppliers to deploy their own production of the new 4680 cell. Panasonic, Tesla's oldest battery partner, has tentatively announced that it would be deploying a prototype production line for the new battery cell. Later, Panasonic's new CEO, Yuki Kasumi, said that Panasonic is prepared to make a large investment in producing Tesla's new battery cells if test production proves successful. The head of Panasonic's battery unit, Kaju Tadanobu, said the new cells have five times the capacity of smaller previous models. He said the battery was developed in line with Tesla's needs, and Panasonic planned to supply it to Tesla, but he declined to give details. Tadanobu added that Panasonic is currently aiming to start test production of those new 4680 cells at a plant in Japan in March of 2022. Tesla recently confirmed that it plans to deliver the first vehicles with its new 4680 battery cells next year. The automaker said that production at its own pilot production line in Fremont would supply early cells for those first vehicles, but it would quickly need partners like Panasonic and its own new production facilities in Berlin and Texas to support larger volumes. Other battery manufacturers like LG, Samsung, and KATL all have indicated that they aim to produce 4680 cells for Tesla. Tesla's 4680 battery could increase electric vehicle range by 16%. In October, Panasonic unveiled the prototype for the 4680 battery, alongside smaller 2170 type and 1865 type cells. At the time, Inside EV reported that other manufacturers are also working on the 4680 type and may be competing with Panasonic to receive volume orders from Tesla. Now, thanks to Tadanobu's interview, we know that Panasonic is specifically developing its 4680 type battery at Tesla's request, and it's been in discussions with the EV automaker since before September, meaning that Panasonic likely has a head start over other firms. Once it goes into mass production, the 4680 battery has the potential to greatly improve electric vehicle efficiency. Tesla claims it will be able to increase its electric vehicle range by approximately 16%. That could provide EV customer uptake with a great boost at a time in which countries are increasingly starting to phase out internal combustion engine vehicles, with bans coming into effect in relatively near future. What do you think of these new Blade batteries? Let us know in the comment section below. Thanks!